Welcome back to another video Forex Trading for Beginners Module 7 Different Types of Orders. So, this place is sponsored by Sabio Trades. If you want to know more about the prof firm, the link is down in the description. So, without any further delay, let's jump right into our today's content. So, we're going to discuss about what is market order versus limit orders. Then, we're going to discuss about what is a market order. Then, we will discuss about what uh, what are the what is a limit order first, then the different types of limit orders, then also something that you need to understand as a trader is what are the cost of placing these different types of orders in the market. So market orders versus limit orders. So depending on your investing or trading style, different types of orders can be used to trade Forex more effectively. A market order simply buys or sells a currency pair at the prevailing market price until the order is filled. A limit order specifies a certain price at which the order must be filled, although the uh, although there is uh, no guarantee that some or all the order will trade if the limit is set too high or too low. Stop orders, a type of market order, are triggered when a currency pair moves above or below a certain level. They are often used as a way to insure against large losses or lock-in profits. So, market orders. A market order is the most basic type of trade. It is an order to buy or sell immediately at the current price. Typically, if you're buying, if you're going to buy a currency pair, then you will pay a price or near the posted ask. If you're going to sell a currency pair, you will receive a price at near or the posted bid. So, just giving you guys some heads up regarding what is a market order. Market order is the most easiest to for you guys to understand for sure. That means you're buying something or selling something immediately. That means you want to, okay, you saw the price, you see the particular pair is moving, you, you like it, okay, you are thinking that the euro dollar is going to go higher. So you place a buy order and you place as market order. By default, when you open a new order, market order will be the default option. So when you place buy or sell, it immediately trade inside the, you immediately get a uh, tagged in or you are already inside the trade when you place a market order. So one important thing to remember is that the last trader price is not necessarily the price at which the market order will be executed. In a fast moving and a volatile market, the price at which you actually execute, fill the trade, can deviate from the last trader price. The price will remain the same only when the bid or ask price is exactly at the last trader price. When you do market orders, one thing for you to understand is you will not be able to enter into a price that you really want. Okay, I want to enter a 2050 in gold. Let's say you want to enter a particular price which is 2050. You won't be able to do that in the market order. The reason being is, it's, as it says, it's a market order. That means you are just tagging with whoever is willing to sell at that particular price. So you are, when you press that, okay, I want to buy one lot at market, that means you are willing to buy it in whichever the price is currently at the market. So market orders is usually used by people who, I mean, traders who uh, maybe who are doing scalping because they don't they don't want to spend too much time inside the trade. They want to get in and they want to get out fast. So in that case, definitely they have no other choice than to use the market orders. But if let's say you are trading with other types of system or strategy, definitely you have a different kind of a, different types of orders which you can use. Later we'll discuss in this video. So market orders are popular among individual investors or traders who want to buy or sell a currency pair without a delay. The advantage of using a market order is that you are guaranteed to get the trade filled. In fact, it will be executed as soon as possible. Although the investor or trader doesn't know the exact price at which the stock will be bought or sold, market orders or currency pairs that trades commonly which is high liquid will be likely executed close to the bid or ask price. Example, Euro, USD or gold. That means let's say you are trading in gold or Euro. In this case, if, if let's say you are placing a market order, there is a high likely you enter into the price which is very near. The reason being is these two are highly liquid. A lot of people are trading in this, a uh, lot of traders are trading in this particular pair. So the liquidity is super high for these two pairs. So if you want to enter at a particular price in Euro as well as Gold, most likely you, will, you are going to trigger very near to that price. It will never be like too far. So the spread is very low. I mean, I share with you guys all these different, different words which I'm using right now in the Forex terminology video. I mean, um, in the beginning when we learn about, I think if it's in module one or module two, we already learn about different terminologies we use in Forex. That's why I hope you watched all those videos. That's why I'm not explaining what is a bid, what is an ask or 
uh, the the terms I use about the spread or anything. Okay, I hope you guys have watched the video. That's why it's important for you to watch from the beginning so you don't miss out any of those things which I'm telling you. Okay, so uh, let's discuss about limit orders now. So limit orders sometimes referred to as a pending order. So what is pending order? So allows investors or traders to buy and sell a uh, currency pair at a price in the future. This type of orders is used to execute a trade if the price reaches a predefined level. The orders will not be filled if the price does not reach this level. In effect, your limit order set the maximum or minimum price at which you are willing to buy or sell. For example, if you want to buy gold, which is XAU USD at 2010, you could enter a buy limit order for this amount. This means you would not pay one point or one pip over 2010 for gold. That means you are not willing to pay anything above 2010. You want to buy gold but you are willing to buy gold only if it dips below 2010 that's what it means by buy limit order okay so however is it possible that you could buy it for the price which is less than 2010 based on the liquidity at the market at that particular time when you are placing the tra trade or when the trade is triggered not the placing the trade the time when the trade is triggered okay so one thing for you guys to understand is limit orders are uh, usually used by people who really wants to enter certain levels in the market. So if you watch the way I'm trading, I usually use limit orders. The way I enter is I want to get into a price which I'm looking at or at, at least at some kind of a levels. So I'm not willing to go to um, trade inside the market. Like I'm not going to chase the market as the market is moving away from me. So I am not a person who usually use the market order. For me, it's mostly limit orders. I trade with limit orders. And if you're following me on my channel, definitely if you're following me on my Telegram channel, also you already know all the trades which I'm showing you guys. I'm placing limit orders in the market. I'm not trying to enter into any market order or whatsoever. Okay. Then what are the different types of limit orders? So there is one type of order which is called as buy limit order, which we discussed just now. The example was buy limit order. That means an order to purchase a currency pair at or below a specific price or specified price limit orders must be placed on the correct side of the market to ensure they will accomplish the task of improving the price for a buy limit order this means that placing the order at or below the current market bid so that means you won't be able to place a buy limit order which is let's say if the market is let's say at uh, 2010 you cannot place a buy limit order at 2015 I hope it makes sense. When you place a buy limit order at 2015, it, it immediately turns into a sell limit order. Why? Because the market is already below that order. So buy limit order you can place only if the market is trading above that price. I hope it makes sense, right? So then there is sell limit order. Sell limit order is exactly opposite of it. That means in order to sell a currency pair at a specified price to ensure an improved price, the order must be placed at or above the current market ask. So that means the same example as I shared in buy limit order. In the buy limit order, what did we discuss? That the price should be below. That means we should place a buy limit only below the market price. Sell limit, you should place above the market price. If you try to place a sell limit order below the market price, it immediately turns into a buy limit order. So something for you to understand as a new trader. Then there is another one which is called as a buy stop. So an order to buy a currency pair at a price which the current market bid, a stop order to buy becomes active only as buy, uh, in, only when a price reach a specific level and uh, buy stops are the orders placed above the market and sell stops orders are the place below the market. Opposite of buy orders are the sell limit orders and opposite of the sell stops are the buy limit orders. The orders will be immediately convert into a market order when the price reach at that particular level. Okay, so maybe this may be a bit of uh, conf a bit confusing for you guys, but I'll clear you, uh, I'll help you understand. So buy stops, think about, I hope you guys understand about buy limit and sell limit. If that's understand, uh, it's good. You can just write it down and keep it there. Let's discuss about buy stops. So buy stops is an entry that you will place in a market when you are, exp you, are you want to buy, but you don't want to buy now you are expecting the market to go higher first. So you want to see some levels to be broken first. So in that case, you will place a buy stop there. So that means if let's say you are a breakout trader and you're looking for to see some kind of a range, is, uh, range breakout in the market, and you see the market is trading like this and there's a particular range in which the market is finding a resistance. Let's just assume, okay, I know that you may not know what is resistance or you may not know what is the range what I'm talking about, but 
let's just assume gold is trading at 2050 okay just assume and you are seeing a major resistance that means market is finding difficulty to pass through 2060 you saw that already market is trying but market is coming back to 2050 so what you will do is you will place a buy stop above this 2060 uh, levels maybe at 2062 or 2061 that means you are assuming if the market is going to break this level this 2060 levels you are expecting a huge move to the upside and you want to get that breakout trade so people who follow trend uh, trading or they want the the kind of traders who follow breakout trades are the ones who usually use buy stops okay so in lot of examples i already share with you guys a lot of strategies i already share with you guys in my forex trading strategies videos in my channel where i'm explaining there will be buy stops resting above these highs sometimes i'll say there is sell stops resting below this loss why i'm saying all these things is because there are traders who trade a trade uh, for the breakouts they are looking for range breakouts they want to see some huge moves to the upside or huge moves to the downside so those traders will place their buy stops at these major support and resistance levels in the charts so buy stop is an now you think about buy stop so buy you understand who will place buy stop okay why i shared this because i want you guys to know because when you learn about it you'll be like hey why why would somebody place a buy stop above there because the market is already trading low if you know the market is going to trade high why don't you just buy a market order right you must be thinking like that i know that's why i'm saying buy stops are placed by these traders who are expecting a breakout only if the market breaks a certain level so they will place the buy stop at the higher price so as i shared a buy stop the in the market order the buy stop will be placed only at a price which should be above the market price okay so the buy stops will be placed above the market price and sell stop exactly opposite of it so that means sell stop will be placed below the market price so that means the market price is at 2050 you'll be placing a sell stop at 2030 the same opposite whatever i discuss about the buy stop you can just think about the same thing in an opposite way like okay if the market is going to break out to the downside that is where you'll place a sell stop so if let's say the market is at 2050 in the same example let's assume if the market is going to break below 2040 your expectation is the market to trade lower then you can place a sell stop over here so there are a lot of traders who like to trade when the market is in a range so when the market is in a range what they will do is they'll place a buy stop above that range and sell stop below that range expecting if this range is broken you are expecting a huge move either to the upside or the downside i hope you guys are clear with the buy stop as well as sell stop so if that is clear let's move to um, market and uh, limit orders cost so you need to know as a trader what are the different costs or the price that you have to pay for placing these orders when deciding between a market or limit order traders should be aware of that cost as i shared typically the commissions are cheaper for the market orders rather than for the limit orders so that means market orders if you are entering in a market order that will be the cheapest that you can get the knowing what each other does not or uh, but knowing what each uh, order does and how each one might affect your trading you can identify which order suits your trading system saves your time reduce your risk and most importantly saves you money so one thing Im important for you guys to understand is based on your trading style you should choose what kind of order that you should place in the market so it's not uh, not not all the time okay market order is more cheaper so i'm going to place market order only no you need to uh, understand what is the trading system that you're following what does what does your trading system say you have to enter in this price or this is the price that you have to place the order then you have to follow your trading system so the the type of order that you have to do is solely according to me solely based on the system that you are trading you cannot be placing a market order just because it is more cheaper to place the market order okay i hope it makes sense uh so basically that's it guys that's all i want to share with you guys for this particular module where we discuss about understanding or learning learning about uh, different types of orders in the market so i hope you guys learned something new today different types of orders what i want you guys to do is if you have downloaded already the mt4 or mt5 or if you have a proform account you already or free trial account i ask you guys to join free trial please don't invest any money inside any of those accounts this entire video series is for educational purpose what i want you guys to do is learn first don't need to place orders or anything in the market first learn so what you can do is just take some free accounts from all these three companies which i mentioned below or what you can do is you can just open a random demo account in a web terminal in the mt5 then you can try to see 
or try to place this limit order in the lot size that we discussed in the previous video right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so as always i'm saying if any of your friends or relatives or i don't know whoever it is out there who really want to learn about forex this is the opportunity in this 30 days time starting from the very first day in which i put the video i'm putting three videos a day so that means you are looking at anywhere close to 90 to 100 videos of learning about the forex market in and out even about how to how the technical analysis work how does the pattern works what are the different types of patterns you can trade different types of indicators to use everything will be teach in this particular free youtube series so i really want you guys to share with your friends share with your families or relatives or whoever is interested in trading okay guys so for the next video we'll be learning about understanding the risk management in forex so i'll see you guys in the next video until then trade safe